Well, we have a totally new species of dinosaur, and it's a dinosaur that looks just like a bird. So when you think of Stegosaurus or Triceratops or T-Rex, this is a totally different type of dinosaur. It looks like a bird covered in feathers, and it even had wings. Did it fly? Well, <laughs> that's the million pound question. Uh, we don't know, of course, for sure, because this thing lived 125 million years ago. and We can't just go out with a pair of binoculars and go bird watching. But uh, it probably didn't because it was a fairly large dinosaur. It was about the size of a mule or so. And it had pretty short arms. So it just doesn't seem like it was the type of animal that would be very competent in the air. So if that's true, then that begs the question, well, why did it have wings? So why might it have done? <laughs> well, asking my own questions here, and I think <laughs> that's the big one, you know, and, and, and it is a question. And I'm asking that question because we don't know the answer. Okay. Sometimes you find new fossils and they give you more questions than answers. But probably this dinosaur was using its wings for display. Think of what peacocks do with their tail feathers. They're sure not flying with those things. Uh, or maybe for protecting its eggs and its nests. We just don't know for sure. But hey, maybe that's why wings actually evolved in dinosaurs. Maybe they evolved for display. And then only later did the di these dinosaurs start to use them uh, when they were flying and when they turned into birds. Oh, maybe. Um, I've seen it described today as a fluffy feathered poodle from hell. <laughs> was, it, was it a very, or is it possible to tell how good a predator it was? You know, years ago, I worked as a journalist, so I think you can see maybe where some of these uh, expressions are coming from. <laughs> and I, it was a fluffy feathered poodle from hell because it had feathers and it was a pretty scary, nasty predator. This was a dinosaur about two meters long, about 20 kilograms, sharp claws on its hands, even bigger claws on its feet, uh, about 50, 60 steak knife teeth. Uh, in its skull. So this was not a dinosaur you, you would want to run into, even though it might look like kind of a funny looking chicken. This was something that would have taken you down. And just finally, um, Steve, is there lots of frantic work continuing in this area to try and unearth more if, it, if this one was so beautifully preserved? You know, I wish I could say that I found this. Uh -huh. It would have been the absolute highlight of my career, but it was found by a farmer in northeastern China. And I was invited to help study it by my good friend, Jun Cheng Lu in Beijing, one of China's top dinosaur hunters. And Jun Cheng and his colleagues, they're always on the lookout for new fossils. This is one of the most productive parts of the world. We're getting about 25 new species of dinosaur out of China every year. So it's very exciting. I'm in Edinburgh. We have a great collaboration with our friends in China, and who knows what we're going to find next. Mm.